danger, biohazard, no swimming. This guy doesn't seem to care. He's going for it anyways. Seems fine to me is what the guy says. Let's see if he makes it out alive. So where are you from originally, Jim? I'm originally a Palestinian. How long have you been out here in San Francisco? Uh, in and out of the Bay Area for about 50 years. <laughs> Well, that's cool, man. I love it, man. Well, it's nice to meet you. I was just telling Jim a story about how last uh, two, a little over two weeks ago, down at Stanford, I got hit by a car. And uh, just to give you guys an update on it, I'm getting, I was, I was down there at Stanford. I shot a video as to what happened, and I'm going into the Muay Thai kickboxing class, and uh, some uh, girl just smashed right into me in the parking lot, and I, I walked it off. And then for the last few weeks, I've, I went to the doctor, and I've really been hoping that it would be better by now, but it's not better. So I've got. An appointment today with a chiropractor, and the chiropractor is going to be going to treat me and putting me on a treatment a treatment program to where I can get to 100% because I can't jump, I can't sprint, I can't do leg training, I can't sleep right, and enough excuses, and I'm not really one to complain and make excuses about it, man. But it's going to get better. But then after that, I'm going to hit the cold water and go for a nice swim at the aquatic park of the Dolphin Club. So swimming doesn't affect my muscles at all. I can I, any of the injury at all. I can swim out there and go out in the cold water and feel like I'm going to die and swim around a little bit and just panic and forget about everything when you're out there so it feels good. So today is the new moon so today is the day I do the liver flush uh, the 16th time I've done it. So I've been drinking apple juice, preparing my, my gallbladder stones, making sure they're nice and soft and then I'm going to do a uh, the, the treatment on the colon after that or before that tonight and then do the liver flush, which is which is going to be the uh, olive oil and the grapefruit juice, and then tomorrow I basically have to take the day off and rest because it just wipes you out so much. So I'm excited about that. So I like 16th time doing it, liver flush. So today's the new moon. Mark your calendars and do it on the new moon for everyone who's out there who hasn't uh, who's been following and doing it. You know, if you haven't done it this month, do it next month on the new moon. Atlas Health Center. It must be Luke. Yes, hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. I'm Gavin Mail. Nice to meet you, man. Thank you. Hi, here at the chiropractor's office, man. They're gonna they're gonna take good care of me. On a path to recovery, getting 100 percent in the right place. Look at this machine right here. Scoliosis. I ain't good. The spine. Bush. Stand up straight, posture training. Remember to do posture training. Okay, Atlas Health Center, man. I really like these guys. Dr. Henry, highly recommended. He gave me some adjustments on my neck and just on my back and my knees. Did a bunch of x-rays. He's gonna put me in for an MRI and see exactly what we can do to help, man. So really, really helpful and gave me a lot of hope in the, in the treatments, man. So that's where I'm at, bro. Another day in the city in paradise. So today I'm doing the liver flush, getting my mind prepped for this giant release, number 16 of doing it again on the new moon and getting prepared for tonight. So I'm going to be doing fasting all day today and I'm going to do fasting all day tomorrow. So yesterday I had a giant meal, a lot of food, not like heavy, heavy meals or anything like no, no meat. I'm mostly vegetarian, but pescatarian is probably the best way to put it. I didn't have any fish or meat. I just had vegetables, hummus, and I even had a little ice cream just so I get like all this, just all that out of my. After going to the chiropractor, he asked me if I'd been doing anything like to ice my knee or work on my, my injury to help recover it. I mean, I said I was doing yoga and stretching and not jumping and running and doing acceleration or explosive training. But today I'm gonna go back into I think one of the best things for it, I told him, and that's just going right on here to the aquatic park over here in the Dolphin Club. Getting out in the cold water, going for a nice swim, dude. Danger, biohazard, no swimming. Looks like there's a sewer leak out here today. It says to swim at your own risk. The sewer was out leaking into the bay, it looks like, so that's not good. It's a good excuse for me not to go in the cold water. I don't know if it's a good idea about swimming in the cold water unless you like swimming in the sewer. I don't know if I ever told you the story about my friend 
loon out here in San Francisco. This guy, speaking of sewers, so this guy is, is just like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, this is not just a one-time thing, but this happened multiple times. What happened is, is the guy is at the gas station in San Francisco. He, if you, if you lose your keys, like if you don't have your keys like on your belt, they could drop down in these little drain pipes and end up down into the sewers. Uh, he was driving a, uh, one of those shuttle, like a, sh like a shuttle vans, like a, looks like almost like a party bus or a limo bus at the time. And he had some important clients that he was driving to go pick up this time. So the way Loon tells the story is by five o'clock he had to be at the client's place to picking up the clients. And it was like some contract that he got, like, worked really hard and it was extremely important. So he's getting gas at let's say 4.30 or 4.40. Goes in, drops the keys down in the sewer. At this point, he opens it up, he looks, tries to get his hand down there and starts feeling and he's not feeling anything. He had to make a decision. He's like literally running out of time. It was gonna take about 20 minutes to get over to the clients. It's like 4.40 and he had to be there by five. If he's not there, he's gonna lose this contract and this contract's paying him significantly, let's say like $10,000 a month. Paying him a lot of money to do this job for this, uh, for this client. So it wasn't like something he could just cancel and it was new and he worked really hard on. So he had to make a quick decision and what he ended up doing is he, takes off his, he's in like really nice uh, clothes, like a, like a black suit and a white shirt, really fancy outfit, like a, maybe like a tuxedo type out, outfit. He had to like take that off, get down into his boxers, lift off the manhole of the sewer. He went down with hands first and then he started feeling around the feet first to feel the keys. He couldn't feel it. And what he did is he literally went straight Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle style and he did one of those swan dives right on down into the bottom of the sewer fully immersed not like just hands we're talking full body swimming around in the sewer until he found his keys and he came up grabbed his keys went to the client picked him up in his boxers covered in sewer water and did the job anyways <laughs> so I don't know if you like swimming out here in the sewer today, but maybe maybe Loon might. Some of these teenage mutant ninja turtle styles sewer swimming here in the San Francisco Bay. <laughs> <laughs> Mutant, <laughs> so you remember the guy that was swimming out here in the toxic water? Well, this guy, he, he's like swimming all the way to Alcatraz right now. Hey, can you even see him out there? You see way across there, there's a guy swimming? That's like almost at the end to the pier halfway to Alcatraz. I wonder if he's okay. He's going for it anyways. Danger. Biohazard. No swimming. Ah, who cares? Ninja Turtles! Ninja Turtles! Ninja Turtles! Ninja Turtles! Ninja Turtles!